and you walk them. <laughs> you walk them from A to B, and we'll see what happens. So, so from four months, you started seeing this stuff? No, from three months. Three months. And what did it look like in three months? Screaming. He was this big, and we, we got him from a rescue. Screaming the whole way home. Oh, oh he misses right. his pack. Misses right. his pack. Understand. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Like always on guard. Okay. More so than I'd say. And it feels unnatural. Feels correct. Like correct. Feels correct. A separation anxiety. Me? Horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. Horrible. And this whole frantic, like jumping up, is that normal or is that. Mm -hmm. No one over there. Mm -hmm. No one over there. Mm -hmm. Did you stop that, please? Sick. 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 Really, you're just looking to have a dog that doesn't. Lunch. Isn't like that all the time. Doesn't lunge at people. Um, you can put away when people come over and he won't scream yep, all the time. Right. Like just like just more basics mm -hmm. where you can live with him in a yeah. way that yeah. Or it's to be the yeah. I mean yeah. Yeah. Hey everybody, Sean from The Good Dog. We've got Felix here. Hopefully I can get him in frame. Felix came in yesterday with a lot of reactivity stuff. I'm gonna walk him just around um, these guys over here just to show kind of like where he's at. We've been starting off with all the basics, right? You guys all know the drill, foundation work, inhibiting any like nasty monkey business with like the growling and stuff like that. So initially, the first part of the conversation was you're not allowed to snarl, lunge, growl, and be nasty towards me or anybody else. And so I used the dominant dog collar, a little pressure, upward pressure from there. We put him in the crate and kept an e-collar on him in case there was any growling or anything like that. And he's actually been pretty okay with, uh, with being in the crate. Haven't seen too much trouble from him. So we're just working very basic stuff with him right now. E-collar heel. And then making sure there's no like, nope. So I'm gonna like your targets. I'm gonna correct him for it. But he's doing a pretty good job of not really worrying about it. So he's a nervous Nelly. You can see a little motion from that ball bouncing. Basically, we're just like out here kind of checking in with him and seeing his progress. We already started with like foundational stuff. We got guys like hanging out over here. And typically for Helix, any dog or human in sight would be cause for barking, lunging, growling, and all sorts of stuff. And you can see like, we got guys here, we got Helix here, and we got a relaxed dog, which is the most important thing, right? We're really, really pleased. I know his owners were kind of at their wits end. When I say wits end, I mean the real deal, like this is kind of the last stop, buddy. Um, things are bad and so we're super pleased to see that he's doing this well. So Helix right here, um, I actually felt comfortable enough to take his muzzle off today and um, he's just walking like if you guys can see there's dogs around him you know dogs right next to him there's Ashley right here and there's these scoundrels panting and carrying on behind him and uh, he's just been really really solid we haven't had any barking not a single bark you guys yeah have we had a bark not a bark not a growl not a lunge 
Um, I'll see some nervous reactions sometimes around like manhole covers or grates and things like that. That's about it. It's about as bad as we've seen. Like we hear dogs barking over there. He doesn't even care. He's just chilling out. So I really feel like we made some significant breakthroughs with this guy on his first coming in. And you guys know I'm a big, big proponent of stopping the behavior so you can start teaching new behaviors. And if you don't stop the behavior initially, you're really trying to train a dog whose mind's not in any kind of gear or any kind of mode to receive information. And you're pretty much locked and the dog's locked and they just stay stuck in the cycle. So the cool thing is now we got this easy going guy who's never been able to do this kind of stuff doing this kind of stuff.